Welcome back to DNM Motorsports. Today we're spending time with what is likely one of the best supercars available today. This is the all new 2011 Mercedes Benz SLS AMG. Back in 2003, Mercedes-Benz unveiled a rolling showcase of automotive technology with the SLR. With a 617 horsepower supercharged V8, its performance numbers are staggering and it still ranks high among the world's greatest supercars. Co-developed with McLaren Automotive of F1 supercar and more recent MP12 4C9 or whatever fame, the SLR's structure was expensively constructed of carbon fiber, which carried over to the checkout aisle. At half a million dollars, it was well out of the reach of even the moderately wealthy. So, here sits the all-new Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. This car is the first vehicle entirely developed from the ground up within Mercedes-Benz's own AMG performance division. The concept of this car alone left big shoes to fill. Replace the aging SLR McLaren supercar. Embody the evolution of the iconic 300 SL Gullwing from the 50s. And bring back the aesthetic purity of driving a world-class performance car. The SLR McLaren's an amazing performer, but you never feel as one with the car. This new SLS is not only a stunner at the curb, it's an all-out monster on the road. This car you see here is a 2011 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. Finished in obsidian black over black leather, this SLS has covered less than 3,000 miles, and as you'd expect, it's in as-new condition. Under the hood here, is a very intricate design for the 6.3 liter V8 engine. Now it's naturally aspirated, set midship if you will. It's a mid-engine design because it's actually behind the front axle. But you've got a lot of space actually between the engine and the front here, basically for aerodynamics and handling and weight balance. That sort of setup is similar to what you would have seen with the SLR Mercedes, uh, which was essentially the predecessor of this car. All these AMG engines are hand built and you've actually got the uh, signature of Robert Feller. Hey Feller. Uh, right at the top of the engine there. This is the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever produced uh, in any production car in history. In the back you actually have a real trunk. Now it's not giant but by supercar standards it's actually pretty accommodating. Uh, you've got all the new pieces that came with it including the front plate frame if you still need it back in your home state. Uh, but everything back here again uncompromised and as perfect as you'd have thought it was when it left the factory. Now on with the theatrics of getting in the car really no effort you just pull the handle and it goes up on its own but simple step in once the doors all the way up here it's simple to get into I'm six feet and it's no difficulty for me just drop myself in like any other supercar but 10-way power seats on both sides uh, with memory and also you have inflatable lumbar support so you can give yourself a little bit more of a hug if you so chose power tilt and telescope steering wheel very sporty design you got the uh, paddle shifters back here for the manual you got down on the left up on the right the gauge cluster here is unique to this car as well, and you do have a row of shift lights along the top here, so as you near the 7300 RPM red line, uh, you know exactly where your shift points are. But it's got every convenience you'd expect of a Mercedes-Benz, uh, Alcantara roof liner, just leather everywhere, and the stitching is beautiful along here, and it's not uncomfortable. That's the one thing about this car I think I can't stress enough, is it really is a very comfortable car to drive. There's a very subtle beauty to this car. At first glance, the car seems to change shape from every angle. Of course, none of that seems to matter when you open the gullwing doors. Opening the doors always seems to draw a crowd. Beyond its beauty, much of its functionality enables the SLS AMG to carry the supercar torch forward for Mercedes-Benz. Xenon HID headlamps with LEDs light your way, and the lightweight wheels are staggered, 19 inches up front and 20 in the rear. Front and rear park distance control help keep your bumpers clean when parking in tight spaces. And an electronically adjustable rear spoiler raises its speed for greater aerodynamic downforce. That downforce is necessary to help control all 563 horsepower from the 6.3 liter V8 engine. This V8 winds to over 7,000 RPM and it's one of the best sounding ever. Power is managed by the 7-speed AMG DCT sport transmission mounted at the rear of the car. Connecting the engine and the transmission is a carbon fiber drive shaft housed in a rigid torque tube for extreme strength and durability. With this configuration, the 7-speed can make the most of the power going to the rear wheels through a dual-clutch setup. Much like an automatic, this car can be driven without ever having to shift, but its mechanicals are similar to a traditional manual. Four shift modes are available, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Manual, and a race start function optimizes traction for consistent full throttle acceleration from a stop. 
as you slide behind the wheel, it's not very intimidating. At your fingertips is a power tilt and telescope, multifunction steering wheel with manual shift paddles. And the 10 way power sport seats with adjustable lumbar support feature a magnesium backrest for weight savings, and both are heated. Occupants have a dual zone automatic climate control to regulate the environment, and Bluetooth connectivity keeps you connected. At the center of the dash is the MB command system, which houses your factory navigation system and multiple media options. It also incorporates voice activation. For your listening pleasure, you can choose between 6 disc and dash CD changer, Sirius satellite radio, iPod connection, and what the heck, if you want, you can watch a DVD if you're so inclined. Since it's equipped with keyless go, uh, in order for me to start it, all I really have to do is put my foot on the brake, have the key in my pocket, hit this engine start button. That sounds amazing. Well, Dave and I are out cruising, though. Uh, on the highway, we're going highway speeds, and you know, it doesn't let you forget you're driving something amazing, which is always the great sign of a, a true good sports car. Uh, but on the flip side, you have all the amenities of a Mercedes-Benz. It's comfortable, it's smooth, uh, it's quiet. You know, if I had my phone hooked up, we could have a Bluetooth uh, conversation. Uh, you still have a phenomenal sound system, heated seats, dual zone climate, but that exhaust for this naturally aspirated engine is unreal, just unreal. The feeling behind the wheel, it doesn't feel intimidating. A lot of these cars of this caliber would feel intimidating, uh, but it really is as smooth as an automatic. It is a dual clutch transmission, so it's a manual, but it is as smooth as an automatic, I think. Only real difference where you can feel it is it doesn't have that torque converter roll on, you know, if you let off the brake. You gotta give it a little gas, but other than that, there's no telltale signs it's not an automatic. Uh, paddles, chips, uh, when you're in the full Sport Plus mode or the manual mode, and the uh, SLS AMG Sport Plus right here. Put it all the way in. Whew. Pretty much speechless on that one. Well, if anybody called and asked me what the best supercar is for today's money, I would probably say the SLS AMG. No, I wouldn't probably say it. I would say it. Uh, the only other car I really would consider that could hold a candle to this right now, especially as far as refinement, technology, performance, and I guess value, if you could put it in there, it would be the uh, 458 Italia Ferrari. But I have not had a chance to really get up close with one. I've spent a little time with one, but not, not like this. But nothing about that car I don't think could excite me as much as this car can. It's a little too overcomplicated, uh, a little over-engineered. This one just kind of feels like, it's very un-Mercedes. You know, the steering is light, but it gives you a ton of feedback. There's none of that, those damped controls you get in a Mercedes-Benz. You know, the steering always has a little delay, the brakes, the, the gas pedal always has that little bit of syrup, in a way, built into it to keep it a little smooth, and this car is instant when you want it. But if I had my wife in the passenger seat, she wouldn't complain. Here, let's put it in comfort mode. Now we're in comfort on the highway. Very comfortable. All right, to our friends at home, this is basically what Mercedes-Benz calls race start. Basically hit the brake and gas. It's gonna rev it. Here we go. That's some of the coolest technology out there. What do you think, Dave? Amazing. Amazing. What a beast! And then it just goes back to being a Mercedes. Well, I will happily say this is the first experience I've had with the SLS AMG, and it is absolutely astounding. Uh, I do think this is the new standard for the world because 
Not to always agree with Jeremy Clarkson, but it really is a phenomenal, phenomenal car. It's an amazing vehicle. Even as a six-figure machine, the SLS AMG demonstrates a great value of comparative nature. It's comfortable enough to drive every day, and it carries the amenities and technologies you'd expect of a 21st century Mercedes-Benz. It's also a reliable companion and efficient. Even packing 563 horsepower, it's rated at 20 miles per gallon highway, something very uncommon among these ranks. If you're in the market, the SLS AMG does not disappoint. Take a closer look at this SLS AMG while it lasts on our website. You can find us online at dmautosales.com.